Hello, my name is Jerry Petrikov. I'm one of the doctors at Leroy Jenkins Hospital. I'm one of the youngest doctors in the world. I was really gifted from a young age. I excelled in all my classes, especially health and anatomy. At the age of 20, I started working with doctors to create the COVID-19 vaccine, which saved millions of lives. I gained national attention as the world's youngest doctor as of 2022, and I was employed at the Leroy Jenkins Hospital. As of July 2023, I started a program to teach younger doctors, like myself, to get a jump start in the medical field. However, it has been a little bit more challenging than I thought. Okay, everyone, listen up. I've been getting a lot of complaints about unorthodox methods being practiced in this hospital. I don't know who it is. I just want you all to know that what you're doing is against the law and it needs to stop now. Does everyone understand me? Yes. Ed? Huh? Oh, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah, I know them stinks in my orthodox methods. But them's been in my family for years on end. And yeah, I know they all think I'm stupid. But would someone that stupid really have made an entire family tree? I got everyone up to my great grandpappy on here. I also made a wedding tree, which is technically just the family tree with a few extra lines. Oh my gosh. Don't even get me started on that like hillbilly. Honestly, I don't know why they let her kind in here. Even though I half agree with Sally, at least Ed does some work around here. Sally records around 10 to 15 TikToks a day, and I'm pretty sure she's only here because her dad paid money to the hospital because she knows absolutely nothing about medicine. So, what seems to be your problem? I have a sore throat, and it's starting to hurt real bad. Well, good thing I know just what'll do the trick. <laughs> what the hell was that? Well, that is the exactly universal fix. Gasoline. Come in. Hey, Kevin. How's it going? Yeah, hi. So, I just have to ask you a question. Okay, what's your question? So, Sally is still making TikToks while on the clock. Yeah, she's grabbing us online attention. And Ed just gave another patient gasoline as medication. Yeah, I still need to talk to her about that. But give it a few more months, and I'm sure she'll be more informed by the rules. But what about Sally? What about her? We both know she has zero experience in anything medication related. Kevin, Kevin, you and I both know those two just need a little bit more time to adjust to its environment. But aren't you worried someone's gonna like sue the hospital? Of course I'm not. Why, why would anyone sue this place? I mean... Kevin's right. The hospital is at a very high risk of being sued. About 17 to 23 of its former patients. Honestly, I stopped caring ever since Ed's... Ninth incident. Sally's more of a nurse here. The only real hospital work she does is she gives seniors a sponge bath. So sir, um, how are you feeling today? Well, my throat hurts less. See, I told y'all it would work. But now I think I'm blind. Well, it seems you may be experiencing some vision loss from, well, the gas. I know gasoline did that to him. Uh, actually, it did. You. I'm gonna sue you for everything you've got. All right, I'm settling this now. See, ain't no gasoline hurt nobody. <laughs> To be honest, I'm just waiting for that guy I'd blinded to sue the hospital once he gets out. 
So that guy Ed gave gasoline to lost like all his sight and taste. I just hope this time they kick that idiot out of here. About a year ago, I was a patient at Leroy Jenkins Hospital where I lost my sight and taste. At first, I wanted to rip the limbs off a doctor exactly for blinding me. However, after I was discharged and sent home, I realized how easy it made living with my wife. At first, my wife was 108 pounds. Now, she's 268 pounds. It's just so nice not being able to see how far she has fallen, except for the time when she actually fell down the stairs. Now that was funny. Over the past year, I've become a doctor thanks to Dr. Petchikov's program. I can truly say it's been the experience of a lifetime. Sally left to become a TikTok influencer. However, she got canceled like three weeks ago. I don't really remember why. Before this interview ends, I would like to ask everyone at home, if you have interest in medicine, come... <laughs> doctor, Ed broke in and she's raiding the medicine cabinets. Stereotype, y'all. I actually got raped.